Hey there, so today we have another review and this is the second uh, can that I opened from the uh, four pack and um, this one turned out, I guess, better. Uh, just poured it out into the glass, haven't really tried it yet, uh, color looks right. And also, also I did notice that it seemed to have a little bit lower of a fill level. Um, I've seen that a little bit with the Trillium cans who do have great quality control. I assume you'd want it a little higher, but uh, open it up and yeah, it's probably around here. So that's pretty interesting. But anyway, this is a double IPA from them, 9% uh, brew, uh, hazy IPA. Coney Island, not really known for doing that. Uh, Bruce Amarillo, Citra, uh, Galena, Mandarina Hops, and Mosaic Lupin. So uh, beer comes in a probably maybe even darker than it should be. Uh, comes in a uh, medium amber color, uh, uh, sorry, medium gold to deep, actually more deep gold color, uh, full on haze glowing out of the glasses. Give the aroma on this one. Okay, that smells a little bit more right. I uh, get papaya, mango. Sweet peachiness, a little bit of passion fruit. Yeah, um, nectarine, just that really sweet kind of quality. Beautiful head uh, being built on this one. Let's get the aroma on this one. Flavor on this one. Okay, so I think that's what it's supposed to taste like. Um, yeah, pretty nice, not bad. I'm liking the carbonation, pretty decent mouthfeel. 9% double IPA, pretty nice. Um, rides on a lot of just like orangey flavor. Um, has like pulpy orange um, kind of thing just going on. There is an underlying kind of sweeter tropical fruit notes. So you're getting this kind of like blend of um, passion fruit papaya dancing in there. Mm. A little touch of biscuity malt in the middle. Um, not too much malt to chew on. There is, hmm, what is that? Maybe a little bit of this water profile thing. I don't know. It has this kind of like lingering. I don't know what it is. Not exactly quite yeast bite. Maybe just a lot of hops sitting on the palate. Uh, that kind of thing going on. Uh, really not much bitterness to speak of. Medium minus bitterness. Uh, pretty good. Yeah, wow. Uh, for what I believe to be my first attempt at a hazy New England style double IPA from uh, Coney Allen. Pretty good stuff. Um, Curious how many of the bad cans are out there, but uh, this one turned out pretty nicely. Um, I like it. I could definitely see this, um, if they really work on it, this being really, really good, you know, them getting uh, somewhere there uh, with this re recipe. But in general, as for rating, let's go with the 92 on this one. I think it's actually really good. Mm. That's nice, yeah. I like that really big, like underlying, like sweet kind of tropical nose is dancing in there. Again, it's like just like a fleshy uh, mango papaya, uh, tropical fruitiness uh, throughout. It's nice and dry, hides its 9% quite nicely. Uh, doesn't really have too much of a malt backbone, uh, restrained on the bitterness. Getting there. So awesome stuff. Until next time, time, guys, cheers. This is Coney Island's 90 Years Young Ale. Until next time, later.